Okay, ladies and germaphobes, I uh, was going to do a series here on uh, how to build a flower pot. Uh, one of these raised flower beds. Uh, done a lot of reading, uh, a lot of stuff on the, the biointensive method, and uh, you know, then I threw it all out the window because it seemed like a lot of work and decided to do things my own way. Uh huh. You can see how well that turned out. Um, so. No, this actually was uh, a lot further along and a lot better looking than what you see now. Uh, and it all worked sort of great. I uh, thought these, uh, these uh, bricky things were the, uh, the, the, the planter concrete blocks or whatever they're called uh, were the greatest things since a bread slicer. Uh, that, uh, that is, uh, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna post the how I built it and how far I got uh, video because uh, uh, the first rain done uh, killed it. No, it didn't, didn't fly apart when it got wet. Uh, at least not uh, at this scale, but what did happen was I, I would say about 50% of these blocks exploded when the wood swelled up. So this one's broken two ways and that was not uncommon. Uh, sometimes they broke at two corners on one corner came off and then they were sorted together and uh, almost frequently they, bro they broke straight across like this just half and half um, and and these uh, this rebar stake that's holding it in place which is eventually going to drive down you know level when I was done with the thing uh, it's not actually even on the the blocks that are intact it's not actually contacting uh, sorry the, the dirt moves in as soon as I moved out yeah, it's not actually contacting so this block only lost a corner so that's not contacting it, and so I'm, I'm guessing it's just the wood swelled up. So, uh, like a like a good little wood elf, I decided to go get the uh, uh, the manual size adjuster. I had this plane that I got from a flea market cleaned up, yada yada. Um, Should have done a series on that because that would have been uh, less repeat work and more results. But. Um, but yeah, I uh, started uh, chipping and chewing down at the ends of them to make them a little bit skinnier so maybe they wouldn't crack out again. That's because I thought it was only one or two of these blocks. And now that I've started looking around and poking and prodding, I should have kept my eyes closed because freaking uh, fully half the blocks that I put down are broken. And mind you, I probably also broke, I don't know, 10%, 20%. Yeah, that, that's a lot actually. 20% uh, of the blocks uh, uh, in the process of assembling the thing. When you go to hammer a board down through them, sometimes they would just split right there. So I don't know if some boards are fatter than others. I'm sure that's the case, and I bet you some blocks are skinnier than others. But they don't have any kind of tolerance uh, for, for slipping and sliding. Um, honestly, I'm wondering if a different brand, board supplier, species of wood, something probably out there works. Uh, I can't imagine how they would sell these things, but uh, what I was reading was that uh, cedar was the best choice of wood for something to last outdoors. Obviously, you're putting this much effort, you want something to last. We're talking about thousands of pounds of concrete blocks, boards, and dirt, and probably thousands of pounds of each of those categories. Uh, to, to build something like this and I was only going to go up these three tiers high here So this was the the furthest I got and I was I was gonna put the fill in the last bit of soil and plant today Obviously you can see that uh, around here things uh, what, what do you call that 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 biogenesis and things uh, just suddenly spring to life from nothing? Yeah, so uh, we got some ferns and whatever those other things are just kind of sprung up uh, It may have been the last week before I touched it a week ago put some dirt in it you know but um, yeah uh, it's it's a hell of a thing is I think I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna I gotta figure out maybe I can uh, cut some scrap bits of wood up and just screw them in I think really if I was gonna do this from scratch that's what I would do I just tee the boards together put them at right angles drive some screws through the outside uh, hell don't even if you're gonna make them this length don't even cut them I cut them into four foot sections because I was going to do it with the blocks but if I was going to do it this long I would use the whole you know eight foot boards ten foot twelve foot whatever you got and then tee in some dividers to hold it all together um, at you know four or five foot intervals something like that uh, I think uh, well, at least with the plants that I was going to grow they were they were recommending a four foot box and four plants in it 
Uh, it has to do with the root spread and all that. See, I do know a thing or two. Definitely not three things though. Um, so, so yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna start tearing out blocks. And I mean, I've got a handful of spares. You're like, you don't even believe this is the the graveyard over here. So I got a couple good ones, and then half block, half block, half block, and then a, a bunch of fragments. Now some of those fragments used to be half blocks, but they were still stuck to a board on one side or the other, so the easiest way to get them was to smack them with a hammer. You put the uh, the ball end of a ball peen hammer somewhere in here, and that whole corner will snap right off in an instant. So uh, yeah, definitely not super durable. Um, yeah, I got all kinds of lizards already moved in. A anything to hide in, crawl on. You can't maybe see them, but. Oh man, he's up inside there now, yeah, up under the block. So, yeah, that block actually lifted up from, uh, there, there he goes. Block actually lifted up from uh, the wood expanding, I guess.